Okay, hello friends, uh, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 4 of our crash course on API. So, last video uh, we have seen uh, how to implement the HTTP GET request uh, using Python, uh, and uh, we have seen some references to the IBM I RPG as well. So, as a continuation, today uh, we are going to see some hands on on the post EAP, okay, or post endpoint, uh, I would say, okay, post method. Uh, so today we're gonna just learn how to how to how to call the post endpoint uh, from the other APIs, and in our next video we will create our own post endpoint. Okay, so I have come across this particular uh, website called uh, postmanecho.com. Okay, the purpose of this uh, particular uh, endpoint is actually to do some testing. So which means uh, uh, whatever the data we are submitting as part of the post endpoint, it will return back. As a response itself, so we can easily test it. Okay, so first of all, the difference between get and post is something like this. So normally, get is referred as a safer method, uh, which means uh, normally if your service or your uh, API is going to return some data from the server to the uh, end user, then we'll use it as a get request. Okay, uh, but if you want to create something or if you want to send some data from the uh, user to the server okay then we need to use the post request so where we will see this post request mostly uh, you know wherever we are passing data to the server we will use the post request so some example like uh, you, we are signing up okay and we are typing user id password to log in so that time the user id and password will go as a uh, that post endpoint the data will be passed as a request body okay uh, so anyway so let's see that in action so what this guy will do so if you come down um, basically we can use this endpoint okay so it's for get okay let's go to the post okay we can use this endpoint to submit a post uh, request to the server and we'll get back the result whatever we are submitting okay uh, let's do that let me copy this and uh, i'll go to postman okay i'll open a new tab fine so first of all uh, i'm changing this to post okay uh, and uh, so if it's a post endpoint then this request body will be enabled okay we can uh, pass in the data that's the thing okay uh, so if you give raw and then if we type basically you know uh, some raw data okay so we are given the url we have chosen the method as post and we are providing some raw data as a request body okay if we do send so what we see here is the result so this result is coming from the server so this endpoint is reaching the server and then it is reading the data what we are passing then it is returning back whatever we are sending okay that is the idea of this particular endpoint but in the to be world uh, if you are if you want to create a new user okay say for example we will pass in the data the request will go to the server and server will use this data to do something on the server side okay that is the natural thing but here we are testing it out so what we see here so whatever we passed here it's coming in the data section which means the server has received the information from our request and responding it back using this uh, uh, data uh, position okay now let's see what we can do so even in post uh, uh, endpoint we can still use the query string and then uh, path parameter and so on so which means uh, i can have a question mark and then i can say something like this okay uh, so which will be also available in the server during the request and you can have the access to that so you can see it's returning back the same thing in the args variable okay that's one thing uh, and also our usual i think let's see if this works or not if you give slash one okay so that is not working anyway that's okay so uh, that's one thing okay second thing let's see when it comes to post request what you guys know should know is what are all the different uh, content type we can use to pass the data say for example you might have seen in some website to upload some do uh, document right upload your resume or upload your photo okay so even that upload functionality is working using the post endpoint because as i said earlier use, using the post endpoint only we can uh, send some data the data can be a simple text like this or it can be a JSON, it can be XML, or it can be a file, a, a image file, or a audio file, or you know, or any kind of document. It's still a file, but it will be in a binary format. So how do we do that? So let's do that one by one. First of all, um, so when we send this request, what we have here, 
we have chosen the raw with text right so automatically the content type uh, would have test as text.plain as you can see here okay so text.plain suppose suppose if i choose as json okay and then i give a json data here say for example oops i give simply a one key value path okay so if you give send see what happens uh, on the server side so you've got the data uh, as a json that's okay but if you come down the content type has changed okay and if you change it to say for example uh, an um, xml okay and if i give uh, something like this I can't spell my name. So if we send, so what happens here? So the data, whatever we send, it is available, and here you can see the content type change to application slash XML. Okay. So these are all some uh, common uh, types with respect to raw. But there are other things like form data and uh, X www form URL encoded. Okay. So what are the difference? So let's try it out. So if you go to uh, form URL encoded, then we have uh, uh, again the key value pair can be entered. So if I give like uh, the same thing, uh, name Yusuf, maybe I'll give another one and see what happens. H13, and if I give send, so what is happening? The data what we passed, the server is somehow able to get the data and return back in this section under the form. Okay, and uh, if this is the content type is changed to application slash form your encoder. So ideally when this will come, uh, you would have seen some uh, forms, right? Forms where, uh, you know, um, we will create uh, some kind of data uh, like uh, registration form say for example. So in the HTML uh, uh, markup language, uh, there is a tag called form tag. So if we are creating a form, HTML form, then when you submit the form, the data will go to the server as uh, www form url encoded okay that is the thing uh, but if i want to upload some data to the server which is not as a simple text or a simple ascii character then we will use form data okay so as you can see only in form data we have option to select a file okay so this form data is all, all, all also used to send some files okay so uh, maybe you, you are having an application where you want to upload some data then you are up, what you will do in application after the user is uploading the data then you will convert that into a binary format then you will use the api call to post the data using this form data method form data uh, option okay so that is the difference between form data and uh, url encoded this thing okay so nowadays uh, there are also other things like graphql and binary which i am not going to do in depth uh, in this beginners tutorial but we just learned uh, some uh, you know key things about the post endpoint how to call that now we're going to take some real example and then see how it's going to work uh, when i say real example again it is uh, a test endpoint but it will give us an idea so let's go to our uh, json placeholder dot dot com so this guy will give you some fake endpoint we can use it and we, it will give you a, a result as well okay response as well so let's see come down okay so these are some resources we can access for get endpoint if you come down these are some routes we can use so we are interested in the post endpoint okay i'll tell you how it works so if i open this uh, post endpoint for the get okay uh, you will see the post okay if we take out this whole thing we will see the first 10 posts post i think okay so each post will have this user id id title and body okay it's all fake data but the point is uh, as you can see uh, if i give uh, slash one i get only the post related to the id one if i give uh, two then i get id two now if i i want to pretend something like i want to create a new post on the server okay for that they have given the endpoint called post endpoint so the idea is it's slash posts that is the endpoint and the data we need to pass it as a json in the body okay let's do that uh, so what i'm going to do i will take this one go to postman okay and create a uh, new window new tab so this is our base url we should be a post endpoint and the body it should be a raw 
json okay this is what the particular server is expecting like the json placeholder server okay and what data we have to pass it here so basically we need to pass i'll just copy for reference okay the structure i'm copying and i'm pasting that here okay uh, so i'm going to remove this id because uh, the nature of this particular request the id will be generated by the server okay uh, let it be no problem so title i'm going to change it to uh, some new title okay so that's it so this is a post endpoint we are passing a request body as a json and we have not passed the id okay so the data when you click send it will be received by the server uh, the json placeholder server it will try to do some operation send you back some response let's see what is the response so if you click send okay so now you can see we got some response okay the response is the user id which is same as as there is a title same as as body and then we got id 101 which means uh, the server is already having the fake data for the 100 post and whatever we have sent now it is pretending that it is a 101th post okay so which means normally they have like 100 post i hope yes they have 100 post but the point is it's a fake endpoint okay so they will not create really an 101 post because if everyone is start creating it then it will go huge okay but they will give you the response similarly like it's created as you can see the status is 201 as we learned in the previous video uh, 201 is for the HTTP uh, uh, status code for something the server is created okay so everything they are pretending that they have done it but they didn't do it so how we can prove it basically if you if you try to do uh, access 101 you will not get anything okay because it is not really creating it in the server okay but the point is this is how the response will come ideally okay if if it is really got created okay the response will come like this only uh, so even if you create uh, n number of times so even if i give uh, something else it doesn't matter okay if i give like uh, blah 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 okay even what will happen you know it will just go and then say that it is created with this data but actually it is not but the point is we know how do we consume a post endpoint which is given by the other third party apis and uh, how do we get the result and so on okay so that's it for this video uh, in your next video what we are going to do we will continue our uh, python project uh, we will add a new post endpoint and using that we will create the data uh, in a static array okay so that's what we're going to do and also as usual i will be giving you some links uh, related to the ibm rpg uh, thing how do we create a post endpoint and how do we consume a post endpoint and so on so i hope this helps um, uh, so if you like this video please share it with your friends and uh, yeah i will see you in the next video uh, soon uh, until then thanks for watching